I'm back out on the river again. I am ready. Water's crystal clear. About 90 degrees out. It's just a great day to be out water hunting. Have my AT Pro with me. I'll be using the small 5 by 8 inch double D search coil. And have my Grey Ghost Amphibian headphones on there. These things are waterproof. Very durable too. I've been using them for a while. You can see they're all scuffed up. But they still work. And that's what counts. Have this thing set up in Pro Zero. Iron discrimination is right around 22, which allows me to get rid of most of the small nails, but still hear the bigger iron targets. I have iron audio off. Only turn it on when I get a choppy signal and I want to investigate it. Sensitivity, two bars from the top. That's pretty good right now. There's a lot of trash in here. And I may have to turn it up if I get into an area when there's not a whole lot of signals. But for now, it's doing all right. So, let's get to swinging and see if we can find anything today. I think we'll get onto something. So far, the only thing I've eyeballed is this Gatorade. It was laying right on top of the ground in the river. I don't think it's been there too long. You can see there's a little bit of algae on it. I may drink it, I don't know. Never had this flavor. We'll see though. We have the first pair of sunglasses down here. They're beeping on the detector. But you can see them right down there. That's funny. A lot of ladies lose their sunglasses in the river. I'm not sure how. They need to be more careful, don't they? I have a big collection of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these things. Oh, I just got a signal down here. It was showing up in the 80s. I did not expect this. But it's a cell phone. You see it? Pretty sure it's broken. Looks like it's all cracked up. Wow. It's probably one of those waterproof phones. I bet it was. Galaxy S7 Edge. Bet somebody was upset when they lost that thing. Wow. It may have a micro SD card in it somewhere. Not sure. We'll check though. Could be some pictures on there. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. First good find of the day. Maybe we can get one that works. This is crazy. It's getting a signal over here. It's showing up in the 70s and 80s. And I look down and I can see it wedged in between some rocks. Looks like a phone or a camera. Awesome. Let's go down and get a better look at it. It's definitely a phone. Looks like an old one. Been in the river a long time, hasn't it? Wow. Still awesome. Second phone of the day. Only been out here about 30 minutes. what it is. Soda can. Just like I thought. Oh, I just found a pair of sunglasses down here. They were showing up in the 60s. When I looked down, I seen them sticking out of the rocks. Let me go down to show y'all.
they're modern, but we'll take them. They probably haven't been lost very long. Looks like somebody lost their Slim Jim. Mine now. Probably still good. May have to eat them later. I didn't bring many snacks out here today. So, we're going to find them. Another pair of sunglasses. Box cutter. Somebody was probably using it for fishing. It's good for cutting line. Been there a long time. Thing is rusted to pieces. Oh well. Still need to find it. We're cleaning up the river, ain't we? This is unbelievable. Now another signal down here. It was showing up in the 60s, kind of like a pull tab. I thought that's what it was going to be, but it's not. Check it out. Oh man, that is awesome. Probably a tungsten ring. That's what it looks like. Made out of titanium or something it's a weird metal I'm not sure maybe stainless steel either way that's a great find first ring of the hunt so far let's see if we can find some more out here get a choppy signal right here you can actually see it through the water Somebody lost their fishing knife. Well, they could have been out here camping using it. Didn't expect to find that. Something a little bit different. It looks like a pair of sunglasses down there. They're all right. Not sure what brand they are. Good find though. Can't go wrong with a pair of sunglasses. That might be something good. It's showing up like a ring. Let's fancy more of this material back. Get all the sand out the way, and we'll go down with the pro pointer. Right under that piece of bedrock right there. Alright. See where it's at with the detector real quick. Well, I moved it, whatever it was. Get the trusty pro pointer out. This thing will help us find it a lot easier. Well, we have us a ring. A horseshoe ring. Guess it was supposed to be good luck. They lost it though, didn't they? Very cool. Never found one like this before, so. It's good to add it to the collection. Getting all wrinkled. Man, I've been out here about eight hours. Still digging though. We'll keep at it till dark. We may find something else. I just got this killer signal over here. It was showing up in the 90s. 
right at 99. And I scraped back the rocks with my pick. And I looked down and seen it. Man, that is unbelievable. Brass knuckles. I can't believe I found another pair out here. Last summer I found some. Awesome. I don't even know if these are made out of brass. It's hard to tell. That's exactly what they are. Now what was somebody doing out here in the river with some brass knuckles? I don't know. I found them though. Awesome. Let's see if we can find something else around here. So I found those brass knuckles about five feet downstream. And I've located another signal here. It's showing up like iron. It's bouncing all over. But you can see it through the water. It's a knife. Let's go down and get a better look at it. That is awesome. Wow. It's been in the river a while, hasn't it? It's got rocks all inside of it. Old Gerber knife. Crazy. Wonder if the same person who lost this also lost those brass knuckles. We'll never know. But there was a lot of activity out here, wasn't there? People losing all kinds of knives. Well, this right here is a first for me. I've heard of these things. I've seen people use them. I've never used any myself, but I finally found one. It's a fidget spinner. It's beeping on the detector. Giving a 40s and 50s. Laying right on top. Let me get it out. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Been there a while. It's all rusted up. <laughs> That's real funny. Some kid was probably out here and lost his fidget spinner. It may still work if I clean it up a little bit. That's cool. Let's see what else we can find around here. Cheap sunglasses. Seems like that's all we find out here. Everybody lost their nice ones, I reckon. I never thought this would ever happen. I just found Nemo. How'd he get out here? That is crazy. Guess we'll keep them. We gotta keep moving downstream. It's getting late. Seven o'clock right now. That sun's about to go down. Plus I wanna check a few more places before we head out of here. So I just stepped out of my kayak and I bought a knife. That is crazy. DLB must have been their initials. 
Swiss Army knife. Thing's nice. It'll probably still work if I cleaned it up a little bit. I don't know what that is. It's cool though. Let's get it out. Wow. Whatever it is, it's old. Going off of something. Maybe a lamp. These are my finds from the river. Had a great hunt. Stayed out about nine hours. Dug nine dollars and thirty-five cents in coins. A lot of money to find out the river. There's my fidget spinner. First one I've ever found. Have a bunch of weapons. Here's somebody's fishing knife. Have some brass knuckles. Don't think they're made out of brass though. Somebody painted them black. There's also a weird knob thing right there. I'm not sure what that would have been for. Gotta love finding them though. It's the second pair I found out there. Dug one last summer too. We have a splattered bullet. Another knife. This one's pretty cool. It's broken. You can see it's coming apart. It's a cool looking knife. It's not far from the brass knuckles, so I wonder if the same person lost them. Could have. You never know. Have some other odds and ends, a couple keys. There's my Galaxy S7 Edge. Swiss Army knife turned out to be pretty nice. It's in great shape. All it needed was some WD-40. Here's a pistol magazine. It's from an airsoft gun though. Eyeballed that in the river. Have two rings. This one here is made out of some type of carbide. It says that on the inside. It's marked tungsten carbide. And it's heavy too. I mean, no wonder they lost it. The thing's got some weight. Would have been really easy to lose. Especially if you were swimming around in the river. And I also have this horseshoe ring. That's pretty cool. This phone here is very old. Has a micro SD card still in it. And I actually put it inside of my computer to see if there was anything on there. And there was actually a couple pictures. And the newest one is from June of 2012. So that thing's probably been in the river since then. Have a bunch of sunglasses. Always seem to find them out there. You can still wear most of these. They're in great shape. We can't forget about Nemo over here. What a crazy find. Would have never thought I'd find him out there. So that's pretty much all the good stuff. Let's take a look at my trash. Have a bunch of aluminum. That's what you're going to find if you go to Tecton in the river. People litter stuff everywhere. And you see I drank my Gatorade. It was great. Haven't ate my Slim Jim yet. I may do that later though. So I hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. I'll probably get back out there next week and see if I can find some more. Hopefully it don't rain much. Because it'll flood the river. 
And if any of y'all are looking to purchase a detector soon, like a Garrett AT Pro, or one of these Pro Pointers that I use in the river, feel free to visit my website, battleground-detectors.com. Y'all take care now. God bless.